Hey, what is up, everybody? This is Tyler Stephen Torja here, Let's Update News, and today I'm going to be doing another computer video. I'm sorry I haven't been around for a while, and for any of those who are really interested in watching my videos, I am truly sorry. School has started not too long, uh, like a while ago, and my uploads have been dropping. And the reason why is because, well, it's not the fact that I don't have time, because obviously a school starting, time is there. It's not as much as it was during the summer, but the time is definitely there. But in that time that I do have, I'm either extremely tired, or I'm just, I just don't feel like it. I'm not in the mood. Because school is rough, especially if you're a senior. But that's not the point of this video. I am truly sorry. I do have a bunch of videos I have to upload. So for any of my loyal YouTube subscribers that want to see those, you will get it pretty soon, so just stay tuned for that. But right here, this is another computer video talking about this little compact machine. This is a Hewlett Packard Compact, uh, what is it? It is a DC 7800P. I got this free from my school. Um, the reason why is because this machine did not apparently did not turn on. Uh, it gave the classic error for a motherboard fault, or not a motherboard, but a RAM fault. And the, and the technician at my school said, "Oh, I've tried it with different RAM types. It didn't work. It's yours. It's basically trash." I I take it apart, and the thing had a carpet this thick of dust. I mean, like that thick of dust on the actual processor air intake on the heatsink. That is disgusting. This thing was by far the dustiest machine I've ever seen in a school system. So what did I do? I took a gigantic air compressor without oils in it, so relax, and I dusted the whole thing out outside. And um, it works now. Uh, just the RAM slots were really dirty and I needed to clean them out. And other than what, when I did that, it came back to life and it worked. This thing is not the fanciest uh, machine out there, but the reason it's on this nice little cart, and the reason why is because, well, my grandma was complaining she didn't have a computer to use. She had a little laptop that was on the dinner table right here, and it was a nice little machine. It was decent for what she used it for, but it didn't have a good screen on it. The screen was cracked, and she used to get so pissed off because she couldn't see anything she was doing. So, on her birthday, I was a little late, but on her birthday, I started building this machine. I got the machine for free, and I had the peripherals, and as well as the monitor kicking around. And I could brought this desk home. I went ahead and I set up the desk. It's a nice little desk. It's one that you see in the hospitals that'll actually raise up to here for people that are like six foot two and that are walking. They can use it on the go. I'm not gonna show it because it's kind of hard to get back down, but. It's nice, but this machine is not bad. It's got a very fancy DVD drive in it that does indeed work. It is a light scribe drive, probably the most expensive yet useless feature you can ever have in an optical drive. <laughs> Being honest, guys. This machine's not packing anything extremely worthy. Uh, what I mean is this thing's only got 4 gigs of RAM, an Intel Core 2 Dual E66 or E6550, at 2.33 gigahertz. Now the processor will be upgraded. I'm planning to throw a E80, I believe an E, what is it? An E8500 in this machine. That is a 3 gigahertz dual core. Um, and some people might think, well, why not a quad? Well, my grandma doesn't really do too much intensive CPU tasks, so throwing in a quad core wouldn't really be the best idea. But throwing in a 3 GHz dual core will definitely increase the single thread performance, which is what we want. And I'll probably throw in a better graphics card, because this machine currently, as you can see, it kind of lags when it does stuff like that, and that's because it's got the integrated Intel GMA graphics, which are, oh, excuse me, that voice crack, which are terrible. And for those who are wondering, I currently stayed home from school today, and I had an early release yesterday because I did not feel good. I had a stomach bug. I was vomiting and pretty much, I was firing from both ends, where I was having diarrhea and I was vomiting, 
And uh, basically, I went to the nurse, and when they found out that that happened, they had a absolute epileptical seizure. Although, they didn't actually have a seizure. What they basically did was they freaked out and told me, you need to go home, you should not be in the school, you do not need to get other people sick. Because there's a bug going around in school, and they wanted me to prevent it from giving it to anyone else. So, I went home, and I still don't feel good today. I woke up wasted. I did not, I don't drink or anything. I'm not an alcoholic, and nor am I at, at the age to drink. Uh, but, I have experienced a hangover once. I'm not fond of it. Uh, I did not really get drunk. I got buzzed. But, uh, it felt like that, but with much more of a migraine. And, I, like I said, I don't drink. I've, I maybe gotten buzzed once, but that was just to feel the feeling, and I did not like it, and I will never do it ever again. So, before anyone else says, oh, you're only 17, you're not should be drinking alcohol, trust me, I know, I'm not fond of it, I don't like alcohol, and I will never touch it again. Please, I don't need the actual feedback here. This is logged in on my grandma's account here, but as you can see, it's just got the generic Intel Q35 Express graphics family, which, like I said, is not that fantastic. And there's just some of the specs of the machine. It's not terribly bad, but uh, it does what we need it to do. And I will be making another video of this system, but uh, I will be making another video upgrading the, the, this machine to better specs. Because obviously, the uh, I need a new graphics card. I'm thinking about putting in an ATI, a Radeon HD, and like a three or four thousand series graphics chip in here. And putting a 3 GHz dual core processor, which would honestly boost this thing a lot. That's all I really have to say about this machine. It's a killer machine. It works beautifully for what we do it for. And it's probably going to have a lot of updates, I'm assuming. Like, about, like, 300, most likely. But this machine, as you can see, is on the domain network. And I use it sometimes, too. My grandma's not the only one that uses this machine. Because, quite frankly, this machine is awesome. It's, uh, it's, it's a good build. I'm very happy with this machine. I'm very content with it. And although it does not have the matching uh, hardware, like I have the matching monitor to plug into the system, it does match the color scheme. See, black and silver, as you can see, the monitor matches that, as well as the keyboard, well, the keyboard and mouse. The mouse doesn't really, but the keyboard and everything else matches, and that looks pretty nice. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching. Comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.